Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Sam, welcome back to another video. If you're looking forward to the 2019 iPhones, new 2019 iPad Pros, or regular iPads, or a new iPad mini, a new MacBook Pro, we got a massive Apple report giving us details about nearly all of Apple's 2019 lineup today, courtesy of TF International Security's Min Chico, who's very well respected and has a really good track record. I wanna talk about all the latest details that you need to know. And on top of that, we also got information about Apple Watch Series 5 as well, not a lot, but some tidbits there that I wanna talk about too. So starting off with the 2019 iPhones, there are gonna be three new models, basically second gen versions of what we already have right now. A second gen version of the iPhone XS and XS Max, and a second gen version of the iPhone XR. Screen sizes, screen types, all remaining the same. And at least one model is going to get a triple camera setup. And the third lens is going to go ultra slash super wide angle. So you'll be able to get you know, a larger range of view, range of view, you'll be able to get a larger field of view on this third lens. So that, again, has some practical application. It's not gonna be just a third lens to say there's a third lens. I like practicality and being able to get a physically wider range of view, or field of view, I keep saying range, is gonna be dope. Here's what's new in the report. Number one, 2019 iPhone's gonna be getting some new band technology for improved geolocation and navigation while you're inside of places. Now, this seems counterintuitive because generally when you're traveling somewhere, you're outside, but I guess if you you are walking out of a building or just walking into a building, your GPS won't freak out as much and it will hopefully be able to more reliably guide you to where you need to go. Next up, this is something we've heard before, but just last week, there's said to be a new sort of frosted glass or more mattish glass back on the 2019 iPhones and that same similar finish could also be making its way to AirPods 2 as well. Following that, there is gonna be new wireless charging technology. I was not a fan of wireless charging until I actually tried it behind me. I don't know if you can see it on my desk, but I do have a wireless charger now that I bought when the new Apple iPhone smart battery case came out, and I really enjoy it. For some reason, I enjoy setting my phone on a pad more so than just plugging it in, and in 2019, that technology is going to get innovated to the next level. So you'll be able to not only set one device on a wireless charging pad, with this new bilateral wireless charging tech, you'll be able to set something like the AirPods wireless charging case or a second iPhone or other device with wireless charging tech on top of a 2019 iPhone, and the wireless charge will be able to pass through one layer and into the second layer of the iPhone or whatever is on top. That's cool, again, something we've never heard before, totally exclusive info right here, and because it's coming from Minchico, probably gonna end up happening. And we have actually heard this one before, but Face ID is gonna be getting an upgrade. The flood illuminator when you are facing your phone is going to get a little bit stronger, so hopefully there will be less Face ID rejections or misinterpretations on the 2019 iPhone 11 or second gen iPhone 10R. Also, we're hearing bigger batteries in this report. Personally, I always believe that just adding extra milliamp hours physically in the iPhone is gonna be the best way to expand battery life in the long term. I know Apple can work magic inside of software to make the iPhone XS or XR, for example, last forever. But my iPhone XS, every once in a while, will still die before the end of the day. Not usually, but every so often. And just having a bigger battery, maybe not having to charge your iPhone for two or three days could be so cool. There are two negatives, though, that are also held in this report that I am skeptical on just because so many sources have reported the exact opposite of this. But Kuo says that Lightning will remain the sole port on the iPhone. It actually won't switch to USB-C this year. And Cool also says the notches aren't gonna get any smaller on this year's iPhones. Uh, again, a lot of sources, these leaked iPhone schematics, like what this is supposed to look like when the iPhone comes out, shows a smaller notch. It's been largely confirmed supply chain side that they're gonna have smaller notches. So I'm kind of doubtful on those two claims, but wanted to throw it out there regardless. All right, moving on from iPhones and jumping into the Apple Watch line now. This is something that I mentioned in a previous video. We generally don't hear much about until right before a new Apple Watch is released. We got a little bit more information in this report. Number one, the Apple Watch ECG heart monitoring functionality will be expanding to additional countries outside of the United States in 2019. So if you have an Apple Watch Series 4, your watch already has that feature, but Apple has it software locked per region because they don't want you using it in places that they haven't like requested approval for yet. And on top of that, the ceramic casing on the Apple Watch is going to get upgraded. We've been hearing again for the iPhones, for AirPods, 
could get a little bit more matty, a little bit more grippy, and maybe potentially that's what could be coming to the Apple Watch as well. So ceramic casing will be getting an upgrade. The only other rumor that I can think of or recall right now for the fifth generation Apple Watch, just because the upgrade in 2018 with the all screen design was so big, is that the buttons are going to go solid state with the Apple Watch in 2019. So solid state is what Apple did with the home button on the iPhone 7, also on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. It's where the button itself doesn't physically move, but through haptic feedback, or taptic feedback, through vibration, it makes you feel like the button is moving. And solid state's cool because there's less stuff to go wrong. When there's no moving parts at all, the buttons are never gonna get jammed or stuck. Solid state for me has been really reliable, especially on like an older iPhone home button. And I'm really looking forward to that coming to the Apple Watch because I like the little vibrations that happen. Following the 2019 iPhones, the report talks about new iPads. And apparently Apple's gonna have a pretty busy 2019 for iPad upgrades. We're not only getting a new iPad mini, which is a pretty bombshell rumor that we heard uh, a couple weeks, a couple months back now, but iPad mini five with a faster processor is coming. That's the first bit of information shared in this report. A new 10.2 inch budget iPad is coming. That's going to replace the 9.7 inch model. There's also gonna be though, two new iPad pros. So in total, we're going to be getting four new iPad models in 2019. Bloomberg said that the next iPad pro upgrade would not be happening until spring of 2020. Kuo saying sometime in 19, so that is conflicting here. That's sort of the way the rumor game works. But the two safest bets in this report are new iPads, probably coming this spring. A lot of sources have been pointing to a spring or first half of 2019 release for the new 10.2 inch with a slimmer bezels budget iPad that again is replacing the older 9.7 inch $329 model. And there's also gonna be a new iPad mini with probably the same, I think it's 7.8 or 7.9 inch screen size and a faster processor. Some sources reporting, I think there's some code inside of iOS that says the new iPad mini could support the Apple Pencil and a smart keyboard potentially, but the screen's also so small and kind of similar in size to an iPhone. I don't know if an Apple Pencil would be the most helpful, although I'd be down to try it. So we don't have a lot of details about the new iPads, just basically like, yep, they're on their way at some point. Uh, and we also don't have a ton of Mac information as well, but there are some absolutely fascinating tidbits here. Number one, if you're looking to buy a MacBook Pro, stop what you're doing, throw away your current computer and just wait a few months. Wait, even if it takes until December of 2019, because according to Minchico, Apple is preparing to release a pretty big refresh of the MacBook Pro, a new 16 to 16.5 inch model designed for professionals that is going to be completely redesigned basically. This is the year that even though the MacBook Pro got refreshed in a big way in 2016, in 2019, a radically different looking MacBook Pro is going to be on the way. And I've already seen some amazing concepts for it. Similar to the iPad situation, like there's no detail saying it's going to look like this or the bezels are going to get smaller smaller. But if you notice a trend with Apple's devices with the iPhone and then the iPad and then the Apple Watch Series 4, they're really working to eliminate the bezels around uh, screens. And I'm hoping, really hoping, fingers crossed, that we see that not only with the new MacBook Pro, I hope that's what the redesign means, but also with things like the Mac, uh, the iMac Pro behind me. I love this computer to death. I edit on it all the time. I would not trade it for the world, but the bezels on this are absurd when you compare it to something like the iPhone or the iPad. And I, I feel like Apple has to have the tech to keep reducing those bezels on the screens. So that is gonna be the 15.4 inch MacBook Pro upgrade this year. But if you're all about that 13 inch MacBook Pro gang, don't feel left out. You're gonna get a possibly a 32 gigabyte RAM option. So that'll be pretty cool. That'll be pretty cute. Moving on to some other Mac details. Mac Pro, the modular customizable version, said to be still on track for 2019. Apple initially said that was coming in 18, then delayed it until any range time frame in 2019. And according to Kuo, they are still on track. So if you're looking to buy a new modular Mac without a display, a super powerful pro computer, Mac Pro is still uh, probably coming this year alongside what this report also says is going to be a 6K display because apparently 5K just uh, was not doing it for Apple. So they're gonna release a, a super good looking uh, new kind of LED looking 6K screen to go alongside the new Mac Pro. How perfect, they market a computer that doesn't come with a monitor that's gonna be super expensive and another super expensive monitor together, what? Crazy guys, it's just crazy. Now I wanna round out this report with AirPower AirPods and the iPod Touch. Again, I can't believe we got this much info in one report, definitely 
worthy of a 10 minute video in my opinion. First up for the iPod Touch, uh, seven generation model said to be coming. Uh, another bombshell report. We thought that product was dead just like the iPad mini 5, but Apple's gonna be bringing it back. No details about screen size, but we know it is going to be getting some sort of a faster processor. Mac rumors had reported that they heard, I think it was gonna get an A10 chip, an A10 Fusion chip, but nobody's saying the exact processor, just that, again, if you're looking to buy an iPod Touch, don't buy it because a new one is coming this year. And as for AirPower and AirPods 2, AirPower, of course, being everybody's favorite wireless charging mat, that is coming in 2019 alongside AirPods that support a new Bluetooth standard. And there was something else in the article that definitely wasn't what we were hearing. We've been hearing better bass, a new coating, a new black color for AirPods 2 proper. This just says new Bluetooth standard and support for wireless charging. So all this information considered, what are you looking forward to the most? I'll let you guys know what I'm looking forward to the most down below and I want you to do so as well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, if you liked it, drop a like, hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news and happenings. And for now, I've been Sam. I hope you guys are doing great and I will catch you in my next video.